Hi Aries, this is Just, and this is you versus every other sign. I don't know if that's how I'm going to word it, but pretty much that's how I'm wording it now. I don't know what, what I'm going to title it as, but basically we're going to look at you and every sign. We're going to go through every sign up against you and find out what is happening in the love realm with you and every other sign. Now we're going to look at you first if, as far as your feelings for this person and how you are interacting with them and then we'll look at this other person. So if you're dealing with an Aries and you know Aries that are dealing with Aries, <clears throat> Aries some of you have kind of jumped ship. There's been a breakup 100% um, and I feel like the another Aries is holding on. They're not opening up. They're probably still holding on to the connection. It's hard for them to kind of let it go. It's also hard for them to kind of open up and try to work on the situation as well. So it looks like there's been a breakup between you and another Aries and someone is being very difficult, perhaps stubborn, uh, with opening up and compromising and trying to work things out. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you see the promise in a relationship with this Taurus. Uh, you see that it can grow into anything at this point. You really do feel like this person is very valuable and you really uh, see the value in them. I do feel like this Taurus has very strong feelings for you. Uh, they do express themselves very openly towards you and it seems like this uh, Taurus has feelings for you if they've not already fallen in love they're on their way to falling in love with you if you're dealing with a Gemini there's a lot of communication that you're giving to this Gemini you may be texting them talk you know a lot of phone calls a lot of communication a lot of texting coming from you to the Gemini but Gemini is not sure what they want they may be still dealing with uh, a past situation with an ex so they are going through peaks and valleys ups and downs they're very moody at this time and they're not sure if they want to entertain something with you, if they're over someone else or really what they want. So I would take it very slow if you're dealing with a Gemini. If you're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like you, some of you, you and the Cancer are no longer together, but you're successfully moving on. You're embracing a new life and everything with you is kind of working out just great. But with this Cancer, they're struggling. Some of them are struggling with the breakup. Some of them are struggling with life period and trying to get things back on track. Uh, so someone, you know, this can Cancer is going to take them a little while before they get into a place of calm and stability mentally or overall in their life. And Aries, it looks like you're doing really well for yourself. Now, if you guys are together it seems like you are very you are good match for them but they may not realize it right now like you may have come into their life to try to teach them to not take life so seriously to kind of take things as they come and to enjoy the journey along the way because you're really happy and things are going really well for you but this cancer has a lot going on maybe that they've told you that maybe not maybe you don't realize just how much they have going on but they're going through a lot they may be even in a process of moving so this cancer right now your energies may not be in alignment but i would say be patient with them give them some time for them to get on the other side of whatever issues that they're dealing with now if you're dealing with a leo some of you really are smitten by this leo you feel like you could be apologizing to them for some of you aries you may be trying to get um, back into contact with them if you've recently met one you may feel like this person is very interesting they're very attractive like you really start are starting to develop you know those you know, like puppy dog feelings for this person but i feel like this leo you got to watch out because they are not being very honest with you when they do speak to you reach out with you or go out with you and spend time with you they are um kind of hiding the fact that they've just left someone or they're not being very honest that they had to lie to someone just to spend time with you or try to come back into your life or to be around you so this leo is not being very honest i would take it very slow and i would pay attention to their actions and not so much their words if you're dealing with a virgo i feel that you're cutting this virgo out some of you have done that or you want the truth when it comes to this virgo there may be a third party situation going on so you are wanting the truth okay and some of you are deciding to cut the relationship out because you would not be in a third party and i feel that the virgo wants to continue to work things out with you but they are also intend to keep another person in the equation as well if you're dealing with a libra i feel like some of you have been wishing and praying for a particular person and this libra came into your life if some of you are dealing with a libra it's like you have dealt with a lot you may have dealt with a lot in life period or in the love realm and you have really taken time to kind of work on yourself heal yourself and in the midst you've been praying and really um aligning your wants and and 
needs and your prayers and your wishes and affirmations with the steps that you've been walking in life. So trying to make the best decision for yourself, trying to prepare yourself for what is to come. And this Libra is coming to your life. Now, for some of you, this Libra is just passing by. They're not the person that you, your wish will be fulfilled with, but they are someone that perhaps will be coming into your life for you to enjoy life a little bit. Uh, for others of you, you may feel like this Libra is a wish come true. However, this Libra is taking this relationship very slow, but very fun and light, very fun and very light. They're enjoying you. They're enjoying their life. They're possibly enjoying others. Uh, they like to go out. They like to be out. They like to be social. They like to do fun things. It doesn't matter how old they are. They give off a very youthful energy. So if you're looking for something very powerful, strong, or your intent when you see them is that, you know, there are your wish and they're everything that you ever wanted. I would say pace yourself and take your time because you're, you're in deeper than they are. And it may take them some time to get to your level. If if not, it may not be the, the actual one that you've been praying and wishing for, but they are someone that's there to have fun with and possibly, you know, try to try to make life a little lighter for you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel some of you are not, especially if you're an Aries woman, you are not moving forward with this Scorpio. You're taking a step back. You're not contacting them. You're actually making plans in a different area of your life. You're at a crossroads because you're not really sure if you are completely ready to, to close that door and not ever walk back through it again. You also are making other plans in life um, outside of just love. So you may be moving, you may be, you know, focusing on a new agenda when it comes to career or work matters. And you, you're seeing, you're setting your sights high, you're casting your net wide. But again, you've yet to make any definitive decisions right now. There's endless options for you to take your life at this time. Uh, but you're not really sure exactly what you want to do if you're going to completely leave them alone or if you're going to go back. Now, when it comes to this Scorpio, they are obsessed with you. It's it's hard for them to disconnect. They know that the, the that the feeling is mutual, but it is them that is more obsessed and more living in a more toxic energy when it comes to you. So it may be very sex based, very sex prone, even though the sex is not possibly happening at this time. So they're just waiting for the opportunity to kind of get you back into your their into their life and kind of get their clutches back onto you again is what I feel because again it seems like they can kind of get you caught up in a spell when it comes to sex matters that sort of thing. So I would be very careful with a Scorpio because again their energy is very potent, is very strong and it, they can kind of derail you and throw you off if you kind of entertain that situation again. So be careful with an Aries. Um with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this is a very faded union union with you and a Sagittarius. You know that. It's very karmic and it's very secular. So for some of you, this Sagittarius, you're going through the constant cycles that you've always gone through. It's almost like you can time it by the letter. Like, okay, we've broken up today. I'll probably give it another month and a half. We'll be back talking, you know, or we'll be back fighting or we'll be back dating or we'll be back having sex. Like, it's just, it's very karmic. But for others of you, I have to say that, that you will have a very long-standing relationship where this person can very well be your husband, your wife, okay? Because this person sees you as, this is Sagittarius, they see you as their potential husband and you may be already married and you guys will be um, together for a long time if you've just recently married a Sagittarius. But if you've, but if you've not, if you're not and you're single, you may one day marry me and marry a Sagittarius that you will have a family with, that you will be together for a very long time. It is faded. It is karmic. It's not about when you want it to happen is when it will happen at a very divine and specific time. So, um, for so, some of you out there that's dealing with Sagittarius's and things have not been right between the two of you, <clears throat> Um, just just know that it is very possible that at a very divine time, this person is going to come back into your life or in your life and you guys will eventually be married and things will really work out between you and you, the two of you. It is very faded. So again, it has nothing to do with what you want, what they want. It's all about fate and it's all about time because it's happening for you guys at a very divine time. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel that you feel that this Capricorn may not be stable they may not be a commitment type. They may be someone who doesn't do well with finances or who is out of a job at this time. It's just not going through, not, is, is in a bad way at this time. And we do know um, to some extent Capricorns have been struggling. This Capricorn feels like you may be an independent type that you may only care about yourself or as long as you're good, you're fine. I don't feel like either of you are together. If you are, it's more of a friendship or there's like, you know, no real commitment here because neither person is in a place where they 
are able to commit to the other person. Uh, so I feel like um, there's a disconnect between you and the Capricorn when it comes to taking things to the next level. Some of you may not even be in contact with this person at this time, but it will be difficult because of the most practical areas in life, the most, most more fundamental areas of life. Now, for some of you, you Aries, you're doing not you're not doing so well financially, and this Capricorn is, and they're not going to entertain someone who isn't on their level financially. So that may be the disconnect too. But when it comes to matters of finance and income, it's just a disconnect, and I feel like that. That's what's holding the two of you back. Now, when you're dealing, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like you guys have fallen out. There's been a fallout. Um, you may have said some nasty things to this Aquarius and you guys could have broken up or you're taking a break. Now, I have to say this. If you have had a fallout and a breakup with an Aquarius, you've not spoken to them in quite some time and you've been thinking about them, we are Mercury retrograde, so it is a possibility that you are. Know that this Aquarius has already to some extent may have already met someone is either on their way to a, com a full commitment in marriage or is now committed and married and has moved on if you have recently taken a break with your aquari with your aquarius and you guys aren't speaking um but you want to get back in you need to make the moves now because i feel like this person is definitely not going to make moves toward you and if you leave them if you leave this stagnant and say nothing and do nothing for a length of time, you're going to lose them because they do have commitment coming their way and something that will be strong, like married and living together. So it's time, it, you know, consider acting because you would have to be the one to make the move if you want to get back with an Aquarius. And if you're already married to your Aquarius and things are working out, yeah, you probably will have to be the one to say sorry. It looks like that's all you really have to do. You guys pretty much have a very strong bond and union, but you would definitely have to kind of lay your sword down and say your apologies and try to make things work with your Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like for some of you, some of you could be confronting a Pisces about another woman. Okay, or someone is confronting this Pisces about you. Some of you uh, Aries women are not reaching out to this Pisces. You may have you may have said something to them, or you may have you may have taken a step back, not said anything to them for quite some time. And now in Gemini season, so possibly earlier in June or later on in um, probably in Gemini season, I want to say you may have confronted them and you wanted to know what was going on. And some of you may be doing that now. I don't feel like this person is pretty much going to make. Um, any amends toward you. I don't feel like if you're looking for an apology, if you're looking for closure, if whatever you're looking for from this person, you're not going to get it. They are really focusing on their next step in life, their next, you know, when their next journey. This person may be at a huge distance from you. They may travel a lot. They just have a lot going on in their life and they're taking leaps in new directions and they kind of want to be free. So if you think that this Pisces is kind of hung up on another person or they're hung up on you, they're really not hung up on anyone. They just like to be free because they like to roam and be about and they don't feel like they have to answer to anyone. And so again, if you're looking for closure or anything from this Pisces, I would say give yourself closure and move on from the situation because this person is very self self-focused and I don't feel like you're going to get what you're looking for at the end of the day with a Pisces if you're dating them cordially I would say just do that enjoy the moments that you have with them because that's what it will be moments peaks valleys it won't be anything that's developing into something really real at this time so that's what I have for you guys I like this new um series that I'm bringing out I hope that you guys do too if you would like to share how if any of this resonates for you for any of the signs I know I do generals all the time and then I look a little bit deeper in the extended so I wanted to find out specifically when it comes to you and another sign what's going on so when we look at the generals we can kind of like say well yeah this makes sense for this particular sign that sort of thing so it was good to do this I like uh, the series I hope that you find it interesting and if you would like to share how this resonates please do so in the comment section below if you would like something personal with me I can be reached in the description box below as well and if you're new to this channel welcome and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care aries